Do you know what constitutes an isolated aerodrome? It's more important that you think. It determines your entire fuel profile. I'll explain everything you need to know. An aerodrome is considered isolated when a suitable alternate cannot be planned within reach due to geographic or operational limitations. It often requires approval from the competent authority, especially when operating without an alternate on the operational flight plan. For turbine engine commercial aeroplanes, fuel planning must replace alternate fuel with additional fuel, equal to at least two hours of flight at normal cruise above the destination aerodrome, including final reserve fuel. For reciprocating engine commercial aeroplanes, fuel planning requires additional fuel equal to the lesser of two hours of cruise consumption above destination including final reserve or final reserve 45 minutes plus 15% of the planned cruise time. So remember, for turbine-powered aeroplanes, if operating to an isolated aerodrome, you must carry additional fuel to enable the aeroplane to fly for two hours at normal cruise consumption after arriving overhead the destination aerodrome. For reciprocating piston aeroplanes, you must carry additional fuel to enable the aeroplane to fly for 45 minutes plus 15% of the flight time planned to destination, or two hours, whichever is less. Again, this replaces alternate fuel in the plan, but all other required blocks remain. And if you want the complete breakdown of every fuel regulation, alternate rules, and real-world planning tips, check out our full fuel planning video here on the Aviation Wizard channel. Thanks and safe flights.